I'm Andy Bell. I'm in our academic group, specifically uh, focused on K through 12 education. So I'm working on getting LabVIEW into uh, middle school and, and high schools to energize STEM education and get more engineers and scientists out there. Is that less, of, less theory, more hands-on learning, right? Is that part of what excites you about this? Absolutely, yeah. So getting to see the kids use these tools and not have to sit in a class and be bored with math or science, but actually get to apply it and then you can teach well, what you're actually seeing and what you built, you know, is this concept, whether it's something simple like gearing or more sophisticated like signal processing, to actually see it happen has a much bigger impact. So. It's searching for a red or an orange object, and when it finds that object, if I turn track ball on, it's going to actually reposition the gantry that's controlling the camera so that it centers it in, uh, in its field of view. So I can move it again. So we're calculating the position of the object once it's found, feeding that back into the NXT. So with LabVIEW, you can do a lot more with the NXT than, uh, than just the traditional uh, NXTG software. Right now, it's just connected uh, USB to the PC. We, uh, the other half of this demo is uh, in the NI presentation that we're giving right now. And to make it more interesting, instead of just moving this by hand, we actually remote control using uh, Bluetooth to uh, a device over a PDA. So you could wirelessly control the NXT to uh, move it around if you wanted to as well. This is a National Instruments educational product. It's called the Speedy 33. It's got a microphone on it. It's got LEDs as you can see. It's based on a Texas Instrument uh, digital signal processor. Um, it's used uh, in universities. There's also a uh, a curriculum or a textbook for a high school engineering course um, that a group out of SMU created called uh, the Infinity Project. And so they use it to help connect to exciting technologies like webcam or iPods to teach engineering concepts to high school and college students. So it's just a little proto board that uh, you can play around with and try some different things out. And there's a special adapter that High Technics, a uh, uh, sensor manufacturer for NXT, has created so that you can interface to lots of different things like the Speedy 33 and, it, and plug it into the Mindstorm. So it allows you to have a much larger range of sensors that you can use with the Mindstorm's NXT. And then here, uh, just some traditional LabVIEW signal processing. So very sophisticated stuff that you know you wouldn't typically have in the standard uh, NXT software. So if I uh, generate some signals, and this is just a TI DSP board, and I can change what the notes are, special FFT to calculate what the frequency of that signal is, and then if I run my program on my NXT, when I make those noise, I can actually have the NXT move according to the frequency or the note that we're able to, uh, to calculate. So, I actually like this demo. It's a lot of noise. Other than the noise, yeah. It's, it's much better if somebody can come and sing or play a flute or something. Yeah, so we, uh, we continue to be the primary software partner for LEGO Mindstorms. So we just released version 1.1 of the software and we're continuing to enhance our LabVIEW toolkit for the products and we have a long roadmap with uh, LEGO for future generations of the products so we'll continue to make enhancements and improvements in the future.